Resins are solid, insoluble in water substances that are used for making painting mediums and varnishes. Resins are derived from trees and other plants and manufactured synthetically. Resins increase the gloss of oil paint, reduce the color and drying time of a medium, and add body to drying oils. The following medium mixes are very popular with fine artists. Lean or thin painting medium, linseed oil one part and turpentine five parts. Damar varnish can be added to such lean mix. Stand oil one part, Damar varnish one part, turpentine five parts. Fat or oily painting medium with less turpentine, stand oil one part, Damar varnish one part, and turpentine three parts. Different colors are pre-mixed on a palette using a palette knife. Palettes come in different shapes and sizes and are made of different materials. A wooden mid-size oval shaped palette with a hole for the thumb would be suitable for most uses. Other oil painting materials include brushes, palette knives, medium containers, mall stick, and easel. Supports for oil painting. Traditionally, stretched canvases or wooden panels are used as oil painting supports. Wooden panels provide a great smooth surface for fine detailed artworks. However, this support is expensive, heavy, and can warp or split in poor storing conditions. Canvases are most widely used as oil painting supports. Linen is a preferred choice for a good artist's canvas. It is more expensive though than a cotton one. Canvases should be stretched on a wooden frame called a stretcher and coated with protective layers of glue and gesso, separating canvas from oil paint. Prefabricated stretchers are available as wooden planks in various sizes that fit together in the corners and are adjustable slightly to stretch the canvas even further when required. The canvas is pulled across the wooden stretchers and tacked on or stapled to the back edge of the stretchers. Stapling the canvas to the side edge of stretchers is not advisable. The pulled canvas is sized with one or two layers of rabbit skin glue and then primed with a gesso. Every new layer should be applied when previous one is completely dry. Traditionally, animal glue was used for sizing and the mix of animal glue with lead white pigment and white chalk powder for priming. Primed surfaces can be sandpapered to smooth out the plane. Ready-made gesso consists of white titanium dioxide pigment mixed with an acrylic binder. Such gesso is harder to sandpaper, especially on a canvas. Some artists apply gesso directly onto the canvas, although sizing a canvas with a layer of rabbit skin glue would give a better protection of the canvas from oil paint. Usually, gesso comes in white, but it can be toned to a particular color by adding another pigment. One or two layers of gesso would be sufficient enough. Too thick a layer of gesso would draw the oil paint into the surface, resulting in a dull effect. Art shops provide ready stretched and primed canvases in various sizes. Generally, such canvases are good enough for a job. However, some artists might have a specific requirement for the support and prefer to stretch canvases themselves. Other oil painting supports include canvas glued on a board, primed paper or cardboard, pressed wood, etc. Oil brushes. Oil brushes are essential tools for applying the paint onto a support. Brushes are made of many various kinds of fibers. Different fibers produce different effects. For example, hog's bristle is good for bold strokes and impasto textures. Fitch hair and mongoose are fine and smooth, great for portraits and finishing touches. Red sable brushes are excellent tools for fine details and smooth texture. Kalinsky sable, taken from the tail of a Siberian mink, is the finest quality of brush. They come with a well-pointed tip and serve a long life when looked after well. Kalinsky sable brush remembers its shape, has a snap when lifted from the canvas, and is highly regarded by professional fine artists. It is the most expensive kind of brush on the market, though. There are also many synthetic brushes available on the market. Synthetic art brushes are very durable and could be a good replacement for a natural hair brush, especially because they are cheaper. Brushes come in various shapes and sizes. Rounded brushes are good for detailed works. Flat brushes are handy for backgrounds, broad strokes, as well as for general application. Flat short hair brush is called bright. Filbert is a flat brush with shorter hairs that has rounded corners. A very long filbert brush is called an Egbert. Other tools are also used to apply oil paint onto support. Some artists use palette knives to paint. Palette knives generally used for mixing paints on a palette and scraping layers of paint from palettes and painting.